القرآن حبل نجاتنا فتمسكي بعراه كي لا نبرأ إن شاء الله now we will be showing to you the highlights of the Q factor season 6 2018 and on this highlight you will be able to see how the finalists they managed to come to the final to go to the final and how did they recite and how did the audience enjoy the viewers enjoy and i'm sure you will judge after you listen to their recitation alive and you will judge it inshallah when you are listening to their recitation on the highlight now can i request inshallah to the operators to view the highlights uh, for the season six quarterfinal 2018. <laughs> وَآتَيْنَاهُمْ آيَاتِنَا فَكَانُوا عَنْهَا مُعْرِضِينَ We have six finalists with us. Uh, those who will be delivering, inshallah, uh, some beautiful recitations, also some good speech. Let's begin with, inshallah, Muhammad Naeem Ahmed. وَالنَّجْمِ إِذَا هَوَى مَا ضَلَّ صَاحِبُكُمْ وَمَا غَوَى وما ينطق عن الهوى إن هو إلا وحي يوحى علمه شديد القوى ذو مرة فاستوى وهو بالأفق الأعلى ثم دنا فتدلى Death is the reality from which none can escape. As I mentioned before, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, verse 185, every soul shall taste death. My dear brothers and sisters, every one of us will have to die. The reality is none of us know when death will strike us. So you must live every day like it's our last. Every worship you make for Allah should be as though it's our last. And we should always pray for Allah's mercy and forgiveness. Very confident your recitation was almost, well, I would say perfectly executed. Uh, your discipline and voice control that you had was, mashallah, very, very good. And it's not, uh, it's not common for, to see this. Next contestant, Wakil Rahman. <laughs> يجعلون أصابعهم في آذانهم من الصواعق حذر الموت Dear brothers, sisters, host and honorable judges, choosing a good friend is very important because they can influence us in a good or bad way. A good friend can make us a better person and improve our character. But with a bad friend, we will slowly, slowly adapt their bad habits which can make us even more worse than them and can lead to problems with the family and much more. The speech is, is an one, it's a wonderful topic, I think. Uh, every one of us, I think we need yeah. uh, this topic and we need to speak more and more. Alhamdulillah, I think the viewers will benefit a lot today. Next contestant, Tawheed Rahman. للفقراء المهاجرين الذين أخرجوا من ديارهم وأموالهم وأموالهم يبتغون فضلا من الله ورضوانا وينصرون الله Unity, being one, being a whole, doing things together Where is this quality in our ummah today? What has happened to us? Why is there such division? We want happiness. We want success. We want peace. The solution to all your problems is in the deen of Allah and in the sunnah of the Prophet. MashaAllah. Very well delivered speech. Um, MashaAllah, very nice topic. And, uh, you know, you are connected with everyone here, the audience here and those who are watching home, I'm sure. Safwan Mahdi Sharif. <laughs> علمه 
shadidul quwa. Allah is advising us, instructing us that if we want Him to remember and help us, we must be grateful for the blessings He has given us. Allah has given us eyes to see His beautiful creation. He has given us ears to listen to the sweet recitation of the Holy Quran. Yet we, His servants, are still ungrateful for Allah's ni'mah, always wanting more and more. Very confident delivery again. The junior ones, mashallah, they've, they've held their own today. Tayyiba uddin, inshallah. Yaseen Wal-Qur'an al-Hakim Inna ka la minal mursaleen My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, elderly, host, judges and viewers, Islam ranks our parents so highly the only obedience to Allah and His Prophet can be for love and obedience to our parents. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to look after our parents. MashaAllah, um, uh, Tayyiba Uddin, your recitation was very nice. Uh, there was a lot of reflection and that's really important, tadabbur. Yeah. Yeah. One of the uh, purposes of the Quran to reflect. On our last contestant, Yahya Ali. وكم أرسلنا من نبي في الأولين. Parents, the people who brought us up when we were vulnerable. Parents, the people who love us unconditionally. Parents, the people who fed us and clothed us are the people that we should respect the most in our lives. We should also honor them, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in Surah Al Isra. And your Lord has decreed that you do not worship except Him and to parents good treatment. And whether one or both of them are at, reach old age with you, you, sh you, sh you shouldn't say as so much as off. Well done, mashallah, you did very well in terms of your recitation. And we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to give us tawfiq to love, respect and honor our parents, inshallah. Quality wise, mashallah, these guys, are, these guys are up there. Your journey should not stop here. You guys are actually stars and, and champions of Quran, uh, future Qurra of, of United Kingdom. Uh, and mashallah, well done to parents as well for putting immense efforts to bring your children to this stage and also the teachers, mashallah, probably they're not here, yeah. but they also deserve some, some shukur of gratitude. May Allah bless them. I'm speechless, you know. One thing I'd say, if, if, I, if I, when I was your age, I would never have the courage to actually come up on a big stage like this in front of three, four big cameras and recite, give a speech, answer the tajweed questions without looking and Subhanallah, well done to you all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept every one of us and put this for our mizan and mizan of hasanat in the hereafter. <laughs> Jazakumullah khaira audience for you to watch this highlight. And this highlight is a very short clip of the entire semi-final and entire final we had mashallah every one of us we should say takbir mashallah from this highlight you can understand these reciters they're not only reciters they are mashallah good speakers as well we make dua for them in the future that they can become good speaker inshallah and they can serve the and they can serve the deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now we will be showing to you the highlights for the team group inshallah for the teen group who came to the final and the final highlights. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, welcome, alhamdulillah, to Q Factor Season 6. Last year it was fantastic and I believe this year is going to be even better. I've been waiting for this to be honest and I'm you know, privileged to be here again, second year running. It has been a privilege uh, to be part of the journey since the beginning, alhamdulillah. 15 year old Alhamdulillah Rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batilan subhanak 
سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار سبحان الله This emphasizes the fact that repentance is of, is of utmost importance so much so that even our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself repented 100 times a day May Allah forgive us all of our sins I said in the past everyone's a winner You came and presented here so beautifully and conveniently I appreciate each and everyone's effort so you're all winners in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Our next contestant al <laughs> فمن فرض فيهن الحج فلا رفث فلا رفث ولا فسوق ولا جدال في الحج As Anas ibn Malik narrates in a hadith in Bukhari, hadith number 15 None of you truly believe until you love me more than you love your parents and more than you love your brothers and the whole of mankind. Keep practicing and in terms of your speech, mashallah, you did. I really liked about it is not only you tried to connect with us here, you know, I, I, was, I was observing you that you're also trying to connect uh, with the audience at home who are watching. 14 year old Ibrahim Azad. <laughs> وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ مَا تَصْنَعُونَ MashaAllah, beautiful recitation, MashaAllah. Allah Himself says in Surah Ra'a, chapter number 13, verse number 11, Indeed, Allah will not change the condition of the people until they change what is in themselves. So this means that every single Muslim on this planet has to change by coming closer to the Qur'an and the Sunnah. Then the state of the Ummah will only get better. Really proud of me, just as I'm proud of all the other boys. Um, but there is a great personality about you. You've got, you've got this infectious Jazakallah. personality, and that's that's visible from the moment you sat down on your chair. 14 year old Humaira Siddiqui is going to win this for the sisters out there. <laughs> Recited, mashallah, beautifully and very confidently, mashallah, one of the better recitals of tonight as well. And your Lord has decreed that you not worship except Him and to your parents' good treatment. Whether one or both of them have reached old age, say not to them so much as oof and uh, oof and do not repel them, rather speak to them a noble word. Humaira Siddiqa, even though being the only sister amongst the contestants, you've done fantastic, mashallah. Um, I should, it, it is a le lesson for other sisters as well, they should um, come forward as well. It shows there is immense talent um, hidden within our daughters and sisters, alhamdulillah. 13 year old Muhammad Din Hafiz. Sa'ala sa'inum Allah says in Surah Sa'ad, in Ayatunnan, a book which we have sent down to you full of blessings which they may ponder over its verses. Since the holy night of Laylatul Qadr, the Quran has been revealed to us to recite, learn, follow and benefit from, from both its teachings and messages and from its limitless rewards. You know, MashaAllah, you, you were very calm throughout, you know, the three uh, parts, your recitation, tajweed and and your speech. 13 year old Shuraim Ahmed. <laughs> The topic I have chosen is the importance of the Quran. Allah goes on to describe this Quran as great, as powerful, and the level of respect one should give for it. In Surah Al Hashr, verse 21. If we were to put this Quran upon a mountain, the mountain would have crumbled and come apart from the fear of Allah. We present to these people these type of examples so that they may give thought. It's fitting that you've closed our recitations, all the all the recitations of the contestants, because um, yours was very loud, um, very powerful. Jazakallah khair to our judges for coming, uh, really sh sharing their wisdom and their knowledge with us. And Jazakallah khair to you know, our contestants and their parents. <laughs> MashaAllah, Jazakumullah everyone for watching the highlights for the junior group who went to the final, MashaAllah. And as you have seen on the highlights that this whole journey of Q-Factor 
from the beginning of 2012, the important media partner is Channel S. And as you have seen that everything, it is a platform with Q Factor, with Global Aid Trust and Channel S, mashallah. They have done a brilliant job by broadcasting and they have done a brilliant job by supporting this Q Factor, supporting the journey of the Quran. MashaAllah, we should make dua for Channel S to survive more in our community and to do more good deeds and good work for our community. Now, can I invite the founder of Channel S, Mahi Firdaus Jalil, to come to the stage and give us a few words, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah, I'm Rajke. Choi Botsur Parigalam, Q Factor there. But I'm a Prothomi Kuitam Saimujeta, Jeshub Mababa, Bigoto Choi Botsuri. Choi Hajar, Bachinture, Protijuki that the Onshurhon Kurson, Tar Kostu Jata like Hubul Kurun. Can the teacher of Lorkota Judi Bulija tell him to unfair Ruizibo? Tarazi Allah Radesh Falon Kuran like Jamra, a journey Jetara, Shujuk this in among the Rashikas, and Latar Kostu Hubul Kuruka among Jaza de Gatare. Firstly, I mean, who them sign them Jeb Ashley Amrakon Islamic program Kuran like Amrak is a budget Takena, a Nach Gan Bazna Sara Kichuinai. So I'm regular to get to be to the Kia, Allah Kamur to get to the Ogros Ruth Elemon added to better way. I'm really but Chintu added to Allah Radesh among Nobiji Radeshu Amra, Shikani Legi added to Postudinitam, Agamidin Amra Gilgi Amra Legacy, Doria Rafta Varantara, and Legacy to Dora Mani Ulu to the Amra Allah, Adesh Tara Shikai Teletra Dorta Varba, among Tara Nobiji Radeshu Shik the Varba. Jai Hook, Protumi, congratulations, and items are Jara, winner of Holasin, but to me. Majority of our winner, Jara competition onshun isun, pondro ta bang bilatre pondro baake bhag kuriya. Jokhon pondro shob participate shokol ain. Taramaje jokhon eksho duisho bachayi kuriya. Baro jono ana hoy, baro jon teki soyjon. It's very difficult for those judges. Jetara kibabe eto boro shongkar eto suto kuriya ante hoy. Jai hok, ami apnar ke si jeta sahi shito hilo je. এই জার্নি যাতে অব্যাহত থাকে কন্টিনিউ করতে আমরা আল্লাহ সুবহান ওয়া তাআলা যাতে আমরা সবের তৌফিক দেই এবং এট দা সেম টাইম আমরা যাতে এই সব জিনিসের টু ফাইনান্সিয়ালি সাপোর্ট করি এবং হেল্প করি গ্লোবালি ট্রাস্ট এবং চ্যানেল এস তার জন্ম বেশি বেশকম না যদিও চ্যানেল এস এর জন্ম আগে গ্লোবালি ট্রান্সফার ভলান্টিয়াররা কষ্ট করছেন চ্যানেল এস এর অনেক ভলান্টিয়ারস হল আছেন সবে কষ্ট করছেন তারা সবর কষ্ট যাতে আল্লাহ কবুল করেন আমলে কি দোয়া করব আপনারা সব ভালো থাকব আসসালামু আলাইকুম জাযাকুমুল্লাহ খাইরা ব্রাদার now can I call upon uh, ASM Ashraf Mahmoud Ujjal, the CEO of Global Aid Trust, uh, for his speech. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, we are organizing this Q Factor since 2012. And this Q Factor seeks, I think, the highest, most contestant participated. The time we started the Q Factor, it was only 200 contestants. Now it's almost 2,000 contestants, alhamdulillah. Do you know the Q Factor set for exploring the Quranic talents? The time we set the Q Factor, we thought that Q Factor can disseminate, disseminate its Quranic values to the society, Muslim society. And Quran, this is not the charisma of the Q factor. This is charisma of the Quran. And we believe that Q factor is for the Quran and by the Quran. Quran is bringing the humanity from darkness to the light. Quran is light. And Q factor is actually giving the confidence, the youngsters, who are participating to the Q factor and serving the community. Do you know what? I asked one of the Imam, very young Imam, he's only 20 years old. I told him, how you're confident enough to give the sermon on Friday, on Friday, every Friday, and you are so confident, Imam, you're serving the community. He said, do you know what? There is a secret. Secret is the Q factor. He is the one of the winner of the Q factor. That is how he got the confidence. He said, I have got the confidence because I know my talent is recognized. 
the key factor is actually recognizing the talents quranic talents that every child has got the potential talent and this is how the key factor designed alhamdulillah global aid trust is growing the key factors contestants are growing fast rising fast as i told you from 200 to now 2000 how is it possible everyone is attracted to the q factor our target is to reach every household within a decade inshallah please make dua for us keep us in your prayers so that we can continue the q factor and secondly please spread the message around you and thirdly don't forget to support us donate us please support us donate us make dua for us jazakumullah uh, khairan for coming today observing the q factor assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh jazakallah khair asm ashraf mahmud uzzul the ceo of global aid trust now can i call uh, and request Sheikh Abdul Qayyum, the Imam of East London Masjid, to come and give us a short reminder, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is a great opportunity for all of us, a great occasion we gathered here with a noble subject of Quran. Alhamdulillah, this beautiful arrangement of this competition to take place our children's success achievement, all due to Allah subhanahu wa mercy, alhamdulillah, alladhi bi ni'matihi tatimu salihat. I'll have two or three messages. First of all, the children, mashallah, we did very well. Mashallah, barakallahu fikum. Allahumma barik lahum. You must say dua barakah to them. If not, you don't know without realizing Without intention, your evil eye may hurt them, may harm them. Always, when you like something, good achievement, you say, Allah mabarik lah. The children, this Quran is your zina, your beauty of dunya and akhirah. So you, mashallah, keep this Quran, love of Quran in your heart, and progress it. Never lose the motivation you shown today. The parents message to them, MashaAllah, your hard work behind your children, I know, very important factor. May Allah give you high reward for that. And make sure you exercise Quran yourself, parents at home as well. It's not only beautiful recitation. The message of the Quran is important. The tilawa, the ibadah of tilawa is important. We not, not only for the children to score high, to get the first prize or second prize, mashallah, this is good for motivation, but we mean the Quran for life. We practice it. This ibadah should be done at home by the parents as well. So your children's achievement will be permanent and they will not lose the motivation after a certain period of time. Message for the Q Factor and Islam channel, congratulations to you as well. It is a huge success, I will say, alhamdulillah. But we always aim high. We can make it further better, inshallah. Uh, so you, mashallah, started adding with the recitation of Quran, Islamic speech as well. Mashallah, another beautiful uh, achievement by the children. This ummah can have good hope from this younger generation, inshallah. Can I also... Uh, suggest that in future you do also uh, with beside this Quranic movement that you do the hadith competition as well. You start with the 40 hadith al arbaina nawawiya and the message of the hadith. You can also plan for Sirat and Dambi conference or competition for our children. All these will make sure our children are coming to Islam, they carry the love of Islam, love of Quran, love of Sunnah, love of their beloved Prophet ﷺ in their heart. I hope and pray that inshallah Q Factor and Channel S will continue this noble 
work of through this competition to create a movement within our next generation, love of the deen of Allah, love of their Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa love the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all this contribution. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you tawfiq to sustain this service. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you tawfiq to improve further, inshallah. Jazakumullah and all of the other sisters who join, you also deserve congratulations to support this e noble event to come here itself is a good contribution. Abillahi tawfiq, jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يا أمة القرآن حبل نجاتنا فتمسكي بعراه كي